Hey everybody, welcome back to Sam Can Do, the channel where I'm working on a really cool custom leather project. Um, go ahead and fast forward to this timestamp if you want to just watch the leather project because the first couple of minutes I'm just gonna use to update kind of where I've been and what's been going on with me and this channel. Um, but yeah, you can skip forward there. Anyway, hi, how are you? I missed you guys. I am so sorry that it's taken me so long. I've actually missed a couple collabs that I was wanting to do, um, but there has been a lot going on in our country. There's still a pandemic, um, Black Lives Matter, and that whole moment that I think the world was taking to recognize, um, to reflect on um, racism was really important. And I feel like I just didn't wanna make content. I didn't wanna cloud up any of my tiny space of even the airways. Um, but yeah, I am happy to be back. Um, and I am continuing to search my own heart and listen to my friends and have good conversations. Um, and also totally unrelated, not as a big a deal, but it definitely stopped my channel from moving forward is I had my car broken into and like an idiot one day, my daughter was not, I'm the idiot, my daughter, my daughter, um, my daughter was like having a meltdown after school and I literally had to like carry her flopping over because she was just having such a bad meltdown, you know, toddlers do. And I got her inside, got her fed, and I completely forgot to come back to my car to unload my equipment. So my iPad, my, my iPad Pro, my pencil, my MacBook Pro all got stolen and my handmade leather bag. Um, so it was really disheartening and I didn't have a computer for a very long time. So it definitely slowed down my ability to make things, to make content. Um, I was able to use my Glowforge on my phone, but I didn't have like my, um, my editing software that I enjoy. I couldn't get Adobe Illustrator, things like that. So that being said, there has been a lot going on and I'm tired. I'm sure you're tired, but I feel, I feel good. I feel refreshed. My studio is a lot more put together. You can see my new, oh, sorry, wrong side, my new Glowforge station back here, which makes me feel all kinds of inspired. Um, so yeah, we're going to get started with this project. By the way, thank you guys for your support. Thank you that you're still purchasing um, using my code. It supports my family. It helps me do all kinds of stuff and I'm very, very grateful. Um, I am partnering today with Buckle Guy Kits or BG Kits on Instagram. I found his stuff or he found my stuff. I don't know who found who, but I was like, oh my gosh, I would love to collab. Um, and basically he sent me this kit so that I could customize it with the Glowforge and then give it to my husband. We wanted to do this before Father's Day, but the world was falling apart. I'm gonna show you what comes in the kit and then I'm gonna decide, I haven't decided what I'm gonna do. So y'all are going on a journey with me. I don't know if you wanted to come on a journey with me today, but buckle up because the engine is starting. I'm gonna show you what you get in this kit. I've already opened this, I peeked because I was curious. Basically what it is is you can buy kits to make leather bags, leather goods. I'll show it to you. I'll put all the links down in the description. Um, and the cool thing is, is not only can you make it yourself, put your own like spin on it if you want to, but with the Glowforge you can customize it any, any way. So I think this is an awesome gift, especially if you have a Glowforge because you could buy it for somebody, put it together, or you could give them the kit itself and it comes customized. Um, so let me open up the kit and show you what you get. Huh. Instructions. I already opened this. Instructions. If Oh, I actually know how to make leather goods because I made leather goods for my store. Um, I actually know how to do all this, so I don't need these instructions. I'm just kidding. I, you know, instructions are important. And it also has some good information if you don't know anything. The leather pieces, which I'm actually very impressed. This, I don't know what kind, maybe it says in here and I just didn't read it. This feels and looks like a stone oiled leather to me. Maybe they'll correct me, but um, usually the way that these are, see, yeah, you bend that if, if, if they get bent, they have this cool like lightning. Yeah, it like gets lighter as it bends. So when it ages, it can get these cool things, but you can actually, if you don't like that, you can rub it and the oil kind of redistributes. But I think that the, the wear on these is really cool. I have quite a few people in my life that I've made wallets with this kind of leather before, and they still look amazing. And they almost polish and patina in a certain way over time. I'm so like, I just know what I'm talking about. Get a little sachet. Um, 
like just like a little leather kit slash they're probably they're probably like oh my gosh you're making this look so feminine you know what feminine isn't bad and then women we do badass stuff sorry i ever apologized you get a little piece of wax canvas for burnishing i've actually never used wax canvas for burnishing i used a dremel with a um, burnishing tool on it sandpaper for evening out the rough edges very important because that'll give you that like finished when i say finished i mean like it looks it looks um finished it looks like it's done well finished edge is the best that i can think of a money clip which i'm like i don't know how that's gonna work by the way i'm not putting this together hayden's putting it together because he's actually really really good at leather goods and i think he's honestly better than i am um even though he hasn't i don't think he's done it as much but i've made like a bag and just I have a bag that I've made in the past that I'm ready to put an acrylic handle on it and you better believe that I'm ready to glow forge it and that sounds like so much fun. Two stitching needles and some waxed, really, really nice, strong waxed thread. I'm not reading this from the in my book, I'm just telling you what it is based on what my assumption is. <laughs> okay. And then I think I see a little nugget of beeswax in here beeswax. I'm not sure what they're going to have you use this for, if it's for the edges or what, or maybe it, no, it's not saddle soap. It's bees, uh, I mean, I don't know, but it says it all in here. I'll uh, confirm that I'm wrong later in editing. <sighs> I hope you are all having such a happy Father's Day, by the way. Happy Father's Day to all the dads who are in their kid's life and doing awesome things, and happy Father's Day to all the single moms who are dads and moms too. I have an awesome dad. Happy Father's Day to my dad. He's amazing. He's so much fun. He's a lot like me. We're kind of ridiculous. Let's get to the customization. Here's the front, which, ha which has kind of these pockets of where your cards will go. And then here's the back. I'm thinking, I can't decide if I wanna do something here or if I wanna do something in the back. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do it on the back. I think I want to engrave something. And by the way, what I do to make sure that there's no smoke, I don't think that I'll have that much of a problem. I'll actually put masking tape along here so that it doesn't um, mess up anything too bad. So let's decide what we want to make. I'm pulling out my computer. Okay, I'm going to think right here, and then I'm going to come back when I've decided what I want to do. So I've done some thinking. Me and Hayden love Parks and Rec. I feel like most people do, and... Um, yeah, and Hayden is kind of like a saver. I'm like a spender. Um, in our relationship, we find that <laughs> he gets kind of worried about money and he's like never, never wants to like buy stuff for himself. Whereas me, I have no problem buying things for myself. You know why? Because I work really hard. Also, I know I do a lot of zoom ins and outs and editing, but this one is manual. Oh my God. Pores. I decided to make him a little graphic that says, treat yourself, because he should. And I think that's cute, because it's like on his wallet, so it's like, hey, you should treat yourself. So I'm save, I am saved this as a PNG, because it's just engraving, super simple. I'm gonna go to the Glowforge app. First of all, we're not just gonna jump in there blind, we're actually going to make a test on um, some kind of scrap that I have, so that I know the exact camera placement of the, of the art. This would also be a great time to have super magnets to hold this thing down inside of the machine. Do I have those? No. Here's what I'm using for scrap today. It's a perfect circle. So I'm gonna place it to where I think is the center to get an idea of where this is gonna print. I'm gonna open the window vent. My glow forge is always. The smell really doesn't bother me. Some people ask about the smell. They say, oh, does the smell, oh, does the smell really bad? And I'm like, no, it's not that bad. Do you wanna see something cool? Alexa, turn on the glow forge. Smart plugs. They are everything. Let's do this. Got the file placed. I'm gonna say, ready, print. Waiting for the magic button. You can 
see I have the tester here to give me an idea of how far to the left it pulls. Then I have my beautiful wallet with masking tape to protect. Treat yourself. Okay, so tell them how I messed up. Okay. So originally, this kit was supposed to be a three pocket wallet. It was supposed to have a pocket on this side, pocket in the middle, pocket on this side with the money clip. <laughs> because Sam uh, didn't read the instructions, she accidentally engraved the one side that's actually was actually was supposed to be covered by a pocket. But one thing I love about BG kits is that it's fully customizable. So all we had to do was just leave the pocket off. We could still see Sam's engraving, and I still get a really nice two pocket wallet with a money clip. Now you've made a lot of leather stuff. Did you enjoy? How long did it take you to put this kit together? Man, this is so easy. Because one of the the longest tedious parts is cutting out leather. Because, especially if you cut it out by hand, this one I think might have been cut out by a die kit. Yeah, it looks like a die cut. Yeah. Um, so, but it was really easy. I was able to, the holes came out punched really nicely. Um, and I was able to do my stitching really cleanly and really quickly. It also came with, um, so I didn't do too, I didn't spend too much time finishing out on the edges, but it came with everything that you need to finish the edges to get a really nice, clean. How long do you think it took you to stitch that actual? Stitching wise, probably taking 20 minutes. But that was, and that was because I kept messing up. That's amazing. Yeah. Hey everybody, thanks for uh, coming and watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, I, I think the finished product came out really cool. And yeah, thanks again. Check out Buckle Guy Kicks or, a kit or BG Kits. I'll tag everything down below. Super cool company. Super nice to send me this so that I could try it for free. And yeah, I hope that you guys are doing awesome. I can't wait to come and do more videos soon. Check y'all next time. Follow me on Sam Can Do on Instagram. I changed my Instagram name. It's sam.can.to do. Sam Can Do. And check me out on TikTok as well. And see you next time.